Hi, these are two of the sentences that you wrote on the final exam this past fall, and I figured I'd give you some advice about how to improve your writing for the future. First of all, if you're writing in a situation where you have access to tools, make an effort to check spelling. A lot of these words you could have gotten um, by using a spell check. This word here, listened, and people you could have gotten. And you could have also recognized that it wasn't a lapses, but e lapses. On the other hand, it wouldn't have fixed these two. I think you meant to say that Marcus Aurelius was a great emperor. And the emperor that you had in mind, of course, was not Marcus, but Marcus. Marcus, and not Aralus, but Aurelius. So double checking the spelling of the people or places that you intend to use in the exam is probably a great way of starting. The other thing, of course, that you want to make sure that you do is capitalize the first letter of each sentence. When you don't do that, it makes it look like you're writing for your friends on Facebook and not for one of your teachers. So you do want to make sure that you use a capital letter at the beginning of each sentence. Now, let's take a look at this particular sentence in, in specifics. Marcus Aurelius was a great emperor who listened to the people. This by itself is a great sentence, in which case we would say he was governing and was looking to pass this on to the next emperor so Rome could be a structured place to live. It's not necessarily clear what you mean by structured, and we did talk about in class who the next emperor was. His son Commodus, whom you may remember was not a particularly good emperor. And uh, although our spell check does say that this word is incorrectly spelled, we're not going to fix it because I know that it's correct. Even so, by adding this one detail, you're telling your, your reader, in this case me, but someday perhaps someone else, that you in fact remember more about the reading than, uh, than I think you do. And rather than he was governing, because Marcus Aurelius lived almost 2,000 years ago, we can say he governed Right, because Marcus Aurelius's reign is done, and he's never going to come back and do it again. And I think that this is what you meant. Marcus Aurelius was a great emperor who listened to the people. He governed in a way that would leave an empire to pass on to the next emperor, his son Commodus. So Rome could be a structured place to live. That makes a good deal more sense than what you originally had. Your second sentence is a little bit less clear. You did in fact need an extra period in it. And you say, as time goes on and the era changes, the people will have to change with it. You don't know this p the here. As time goes on and the era changes, people will have to change with the times. When time elapses over hours and years, people gather more knowledge. Both of these sentences are now clear, but they parallel one another. And maybe on a formal essay, you don't want to do that. 